Okay, so um, this is Sir Lancelot. I'm going to try something a bit different this time because I always have the uh, um, sound all messed up. Right, this is me. We're working out the controls. It's pretty simple. Left, right and jump. That's it. Left, right, jump. Um, this is what you might call my Dark Souls. <laughs> I don't have to try and kill anyone, but I do have to try and stay alive. And if you die, you start at the beginning again, obviously, as you would do with these games anyway. Um, yeah, it's not Dark Souls, but it looks like it. The little guy looks like Dark Souls, uh, Sir Lancelot. you got a shield and you've got a sword. You don't use them. You don't use them. You just collect these um, objects. There's a key, a crown, a goblet, and a um, what is that? A wire wing, a Star Wars wire wing by the looks of it, and a TV aerial. Um, yeah, and so I, you know, my timing's a bit off. And also, I think that it's an emulator and, uh, you know, the control system and that there might be a slight um, latency with it. So, yeah, you just collect the items, and then when you collected them all, you go to the out flashing out um, image icon um, yeah uh, what can I say about this game it's what is it released I don't know 1984 something like that Melbourne house game um, it's probably one of the few puzzle platform games that I really kind of liked um, just because it's really simple it's really simple and timing is everything in this game as you can see just then you you know you got to know how long it takes to fall um, so you have to judge it you have to judge your falling right uh, and judge your jumping and everything else yeah um, there's a timer, as you can see, the timer runs out. Um, doesn't seem to last too long. Six, five, four, three. Yeah, so I don't know, probably got about three minutes. They're not actually seconds, uh, these things, so I don't know what they are. Yeah, uh, this kind of message keep popping up at the bottom about the controller so I don't know so it's kind of a bit funny because I'm using the RetroArch um, emulator hub thing um, it kind of uh, uses lots of different emulators so you can load up a game and it doesn't really matter which console or emulator you're 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 playing. Um, you just load the game up from the uh, RetroArch user interface, and then it just runs it. Um, yeah, it's you know pretty. I'd like to say it was pretty seamless uh, and easy, but there's a bit of uh, setting up to do. Um, I don't know. Some of the emulators crash. I mean, it's not. It's not. Uh, 100% perfect. I'd say it's probably about 60% perfect. <laughs> so it's not perfect. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. But it works in most cases. The only problem I find with RetroArch is that if I want to play a Spectrum game and I want to use the keyboard, RetroArch runs in the background and um, it has its own keys binded. So when you try and um, there's conflicts, key conflicts. You know, you want to jump. Space is jump. Uh, Say so if you do a space on a, uh, to jump, you um, jump actually is uh, is uh, speed up the emulation within RetroArch. So when you do jump, it speeds it up and then it all goes wrong. Um, and other th you press other buttons and it all goes a bit funny and pear shaped so uh, I'm using the um, PlayStation 4 controller using the DS4 
Mapper or DS4 Windows um, app, uh, application to run it, which in most cases works perfectly well. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, you just die, start again, die, start again, die, start again. But the thing is, you don't because the, the screens are so small, um, you don't get a sense that you've gone back that far, so you don't mind restarting. Quick restart, quick restart, quick restart. You know that kind of that kind of thing, uh, almost like a, a rogue <laughs> type game, but it doesn't remember anything that you do, so it's not like a rogue type game. Yeah. But uh, it's fun. It's a fun game, you know. Um, back in the day, uh, the, the, I quite liked the graphics. You know, there was a bit of detail in the in Salance a lot. There's a bit of detail in the items that you pick. Look at that. That was good timing. Jumped down there and timed it just right. I mean, most other times I'd have just landed straight on the ball. Uh, yeah. Um, no, it was quite a nice looking game and it played really well. Nothing to complain about really. Um, yeah. There's really not much to say about it to be honest with you. Um, yeah, but I thought I'd just give it a go, test my, you know, uh, almost 40 year old <laughs> reflexes on this game that I first started playing when I was about, I don't know, nine I reckon. Um, and I probably I th I remember one time when I played it and I did get quite a few screens in I don't know probably about 18 I think I meant probably about 18 to 20 screens in there's a lot of screens in this game in this one this playthrough I don't really play for that long um, because my patience for playing these games is a little bit low uh, I don't tend to have as much time to play as I used to when I was a kid um, I used to shut myself away in my room and just play for hours uh, you know uh, but now I don't really get a chance to do that so um, time is precious really time is precious so I can't spend hours trying to crack a game not in the kind of like the coding sense but you know to kind of beat the game or I don't really have time to get good as they say uh, that's why I don't really play games like Dark Souls I've tried I tried to play Dark Souls I tried to play Demon Souls just doesn't work for me I don't have the time you know I get I get somewhere you know in the in the level or I get to a certain distance um, and I think I do very well but in reality I don't do very well at all because I have Demon Souls. I haven't completed the first level, proper level that is, after the hub area. Um, I haven't completed it. I'm not likely to complete it because when I get what I feel is quite far in, I die and then I have to start right back from the beginning again. And after about five or six tries, I've already spent, you know, best part of an hour, and I don't, I can't do that. I can't spend another hour trying again. It doesn't work for me, you know. So uh, yeah, that's why I have to. That's why I have to play games that have kind of got loads of auto saves at the end of the day. That's why I have to play games that have got stories, stories with auto save. That's perfect for me. I can just stop it and start again from where I left off, like a bookmark. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's loads of other people that have the same problem. You know, just don't have the, the time anymore. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, what am I doing on this? So, yeah, okay. I think the last cross seems to be a bit of a problem for me. Because that bouncing ball is moving quite fast. So, it's all about timing. What do I do? Do I jump over the ball? Do I... Um, I don't know. Let's see what I do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... Right, so I'm just trying to get this thing. Don't jump into the bird. Don't jump into the ball. Got it, got it. Now I've got to jump over this. So let's see. Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Well, I've spent enough on this game now, I think. So uh, 
Yeah, I don't. I. This is a playthrough. I'm just talking over the top of it. Yes, as you said. So I'm just. I think I just stop now. Um, yeah, I can't be bothered to do the rest of it now. I think you get the gist of it, and so do I. I got the gist of it. Really, don't feel the need to go any further. So yeah. Anyway, I hope to do some more videos soon. So um, I'll see you then. Bye. Yeah.